Hello, my name is Farha Javidi. On behalf of Persian Avors, I'm in conversation with Katerina Markievich. Katerina, yes. could you tell me a little bit about yourself? Hello, everyone. Hello, Farhad. I'm very happy and very honored to be a part of this um, amazing community. And um, thank you for inviting me and for having an interview with me. Um, I'm a dancer living in Moscow, Russia. I was born here and um, most of my life and I spent here in Moscow. And um, at this uh, time of my life, I'm being a, a dance performer and a dance teacher and also a yoga teacher. And this is uh, basically, basically what I'm doing at the moment. Katerina, were you born in Russia? In Moscow. In Moscow. In Moscow. Yes, in the capital. And, and um, I believe it was the time that it was uh, still Soviet Union, correct? Right, right. I was uh, born like in um, 1980, so it was still 11 years of Soviet uh, period ahead. Yes, and um, from my childhood, I, I remember the, the so Soviet. So you, you were 11 years old when the system changed? Yes, yes, exactly. Wow. Okay, so uh, where you, you were living in Moscow, were you living in a rich family? Where, how was your family? I mean, they were rich, they were in... Okay. <laughs> uh, but... or how was your neighborhood? Mm -hmm. uh, I, um, I'm from like a very simple um, family, not rich, not special, not famous. Uh, just mm, and th this is uh, what I think um, was Soviet regime about that. Uh, uh, at least it was declared that everyone, you know, should be equal. They shouldn't be like rich or poor or this or that. Every everyone should be the same. And uh, my family was this um, very mm, normal, typical Soviet family. Nothing special. So did you have lots of opportunities? Did you have opportunity when you were little to dance or get to, when did you start this interest? To dance? <laughs> Actually, yeah, um, like I had all of opportunities. Actually, this, uh, like the Soviet uh, uh, education, the system of the education, uh, I think was like really good. And uh, people, children um, uh, had like lots of opportunities. So there were like lots of um, sc schools and classes. And I really loved dancing when was, uh, I was like a little girl. And my mom brought me to some uh, dance classes. I think it was maybe ballet for like little kids. And I don't remember why, but after just a few classes, I quit. I said I uh, wouldn't go there any, um, anymore. And, and since then, I had this idea in my mind that I cannot dance at all. You know, that, my, uh, yeah, I was, um, I was sure that my body is not meant to move uh, to, to the music. And... When I was a teenager, you know, like everyone would go to the party and dance, clubbing and everything. And I would say, no, I cannot dance. I wouldn't go. Don't uh, ask me. <laughs> so and actually, after just like years and years, uh, when I was like 30 something years old, I discovered this um, desire and this pleasure to dance again so you didn't dance since you were little till you no. were 30 years old and no. was it was it because you know somebody made you feel like that as you said you know uh, uh, you quit but was it because the system was had so much expectation from the young dancers or was it your any anybody saying anything or it was just you you didn't I, I don't remember exactly. I think I was too little. 
uh, to memorize, you know, what happened. And probably it was kind of tra uh, traumatizing, you know, <clears throat> experience for me. Maybe my uh, psychic system just blocked that uh, memory. But I think it <clears throat> probably the teacher uh, was, you know, like too strict, maybe. Mm -hmm. Maybe shouting, maybe, uh, I don't know, expecting, as you said, like having like too uh, many expectations from little kids. I, I don't remember, but probably yes. Mm 